Ashley is related to one of her co-stars. What? <laughs> We're celebrating Thanksgiving with the best part of the holiday, family. Let's meet our players. From High School Musical, Phineas and Ferb, and CEO of Frenchie, it's Ashley Tisdale, competing against her sister, actress and real estate powerhouse, Jennifer Tisdale. The winner of this ultimate sibling rivalry will win an ancestry gift to share with the family member of their choice and the Golden Leaf Trophy. And I am the sparkling centerpiece of your Thanksgiving table, Jackie. Let's play Two Lies and a Leaf. We are celebrating the holidays, which, as you know, is a time to reminisce over those embarrassing family photos your mom shows everyone. Speaking of, what you got there, Jennifer? This is probably not one of Ashley's favorite photos, and it's probably why I picked it, because it was for my junior prom, so I'm dressed beautifully. But this is um, Let's all not the do ladies. a close-up of that. <laughs> <laughs> all the ladies. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> At my junior prom. I brought this one. I look much better in this picture. Just FYI. <laughs> this one you can zoom in on. Yeah, and since you look so great in that one, why don't you use our app to scan it right into your family tree? That's so cool. Oh, and by the time we're done, you might have another family photo to add. This first one is for both of you and is about your grandmother, Marilyn Keys. She's the best. She's turning 89 and she is still completely with it. She's just like runs around after the babies and everything. I'm crying already. <laughs> <laughs> so Grandma Marilyn married your grandfather, Arnold Morris, in 1953. Mm -hmm. Where did they go on their honeymoon? <laughs> A, Hawaii, B, Miami Beach, or C, Canada? Okay, mom told me a different... <laughs> Mom gave me no, a and she did not. not. She, she gave you the right answer. And really? I'll tell you why she gave you the right answer. Why? Do you want me to tell you why? Why? Because Niagara Falls is in Canada and New York. So oh, it's C, Canada. God. C, Canada? <laughs> You're not supposed to help each other. You're supposed oh, to keep true. the <laughs> secret. I was trying to help you. I know we're competing against oh, each God. other. <laughs> I'll know most of the other ones. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be perfect. You're nailing it. That's what big sisters are for. They take care of their little sisters. <laughs> Wait, is that her? Yes. Oh, my God. Stop. She's going to cry again. Oh, my God. As this newspaper wedding announcement shows, look at your beautiful grandmother. Oh, my God. Marilyn and Arnold married at the Lorraine Hotel in Bradley Beach, New Jersey, and honeymooned in Canada. Gosh, now I'm going to cry. I know. Pass the buttered rolls because it's time for round two. Ashley, this first question is about you and your sister's great-grandfather, super inventor, Nathan Morris. I know that he had a factory in the town he lived in, and it's probably why I love to be creative and do products because it's in my blood. Here's your question. Your great-grandfather held numerous patents for his inventions. What was one of his most famous inventions? Was it A, Judy Jewelette, B, the Slap Chop, or C, the Shinomatic? I think it's B, the Slap Chop. The answer is. I'm so nervous. A! Oh, it did sound familiar! Why don't you have a look in your memory box? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, is this like the real thing, you guys? That is the real oh my thing. God. What? This delightful device was one of the first as seen on TV products that let you, quote, easily add dazzling jewels to things you wear. It's a bedazzler. Oh my God, it is a bedazzler. <gasps> and this is the actual 1954 newspaper ad for the Judy Jewelette. That is wild. Like, why did he create this? Ashley, your high school musical character, Sharpay Evans, was always wearing bedazzled clothes. That is very true. Do you think she used a Judy <laughs> Jewelette? I mean, she must have. She must have. I mean, everything was bedazzled, even my, like, cell phone. Now let's take a moment to honor Sharpay and great-grandpa Nathan with you guys bedazzling me. Hey! <laughs> For bedazzling. Get behind me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Put jewels on my leaves, put jewels on my leaves. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Put jewels on the tree, put jewels on the tree. Hey, hey, hey. I'm bedazzled. Move those sisters. One, two, three, yeah. <gasps> I look beautiful. You do. 
you. Great Grandpa Nathan made inventing the family business, hiring his son Arnold, your grandfather, to manage the factory that made the Jewelette. Arnold later had his own amazing career as the go-to guy in America for infomercials. He even had a nickname. Do you know what it was? Was it Arnold the Knife? Yes. It, it was, was the knife. Yeah, because he would make like a tomato into like a flower yes, yes, and like I could cut that. through a can. I remember I was very shy when I was younger. True story. Yes. So he enrolled me to pitch his stuff at the mall and I was doing the chopper and I would be like, I'm 10 years old and I can chop and you can do. <laughs> oh and gosh. so, I mean, he really did help me. Like he definitely told me how to be in a room and be confident. If you believe it, other people believe it too. Yeah. Jennifer, this question is for you. Okay. Your family ties to New Jersey and the movie industry go back generations. How was your second great-granduncle, Morris Lieber, connected to the entertainment industry? Was he A, an actor, B, he owned a moving pictures theater, or C, he was a set designer? Moving pictures theater? I don't know. I'm just going to go with C. I have no idea. The answer is B. You he right. owned a moving picture theater. They're with me today. I'm <laughs> telling you, they are with me. <laughs> but not when it's your question. <laughs> At least we're still tied, apparently. Yes. Yes, you are. So, Jen, have a look inside your memory box. Those 1911 newspaper ads show that the Lieber Brothers Moving Picture Palace in Asbury, New Jersey. Oh my God. Is both giving away a kitchen set and seeking a new piano player. I love how they were such hustlers. <laughs> I feel like we need to like find out where this was and like what's there now. The score is tied. Let's get into this DNA bonus round. Your sisters, so your ethnicity is similar, mm -hmm. but it's your traits that set you apart. Flip your paddle to the initial you think is the correct answer. Now, according to your DNA, who is the biggest risk taker? The answer is Jennifer. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's the biggest risk you've ever taken? Yeah. Raising a daughter on my own. That is very true. That is true. Okay, next one. Who is most like an elite endurance athlete? The answer is Jennifer. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Growing up, I played softball. I was a cheerleader all the way through college. Who is most likely to remember their dreams? Oh, for okay. sure me. Yeah. The DNA says... It's Ashley. That is crazy that your DNA says that. That is. I remember every single one of my dreams. Here in round three, it'll be up to you to come up with two lies as you try and stump each other. Ashley, you're up. This question is about our second great-grandfather, Moshe Kitteriski, later known as Kitters Morris. Kitters was a shoemaker by trade, but later he also worked in A, news, B, real estate, C, production. I don't know the answer of this. Yeah, you have to just guess. Real estate. <sighs> yeah, that <What>? was right. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> it's B, real estate. And you also work in real estate, right, Jennifer? I do. You're thriving in real estate. Kidders originally lived in Philadelphia, but settled in Asbury Park, New Jersey, after your great-grandmother, Brenna Giddle Kidderiski, later known as Bertha Morris, emigrated from Eastern Europe to join him. She made the trip to the United States on the SS Germanic with her daughter, who was only six months old at the time. I I'm like, I just got chills from that. <laughs> that I was insane. just going to ask you, you're both moms. Can you imagine making that kind of trip with your daughters when they no. were babies? Jupiter's 18 months and it's very opinionated. <laughs> All right, Jennifer. Yes. It's your turn to try and stump Ashley. Oh, gosh. This question is about another woman in our family, our second great-grandmother, Alice. Alice had a unique last name. It foreshadowed our careers in movies generations later. Was her name A, Ford, okay. B, Hollywood, C, Callback? It's probably Callback. You are right. Ah! As you can see in this marriage register, she was born in Truro, Nova Scotia, Canada. That's wild. It's time for the final round, where you might be adding a seat to your Thanksgiving table. Ladies, grab your game cards and write down the answer you think is the truth. I'm so nervous. The current score is Jennifer 3, 
Ashley, four. Yeah, whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Now, this question is for both of you. We discovered that Ashley is related to one of her co-stars. What? (laughs) Is it A, Zac Efron, B, Austin Butler, or C, Dylan and Cole Sprouse? Oh my God, I have kissed almost every single one of them. And just so you know, I've kissed every single one of them on a show. Just let's, let's just not be like real. in like, real life. Yeah, not in real life. Dylan, Austin, and Zach. Austin and I always say that we're like fraternal twins born very far apart because he's much younger. And we've always had that connection. So I want to say that, but they're, now it's like, what? On the count of three, flip your answers and show us. One, two, three. <gasps> okay. Ashley says Austin, and Jennifer says the Sprouse twins. And the answer is B, Austin Butler. Oh, my my God. God. No wonder we have such a connection. We've always said we were brother and sister. That is insane. I literally am going to cry. Austin is Ashley's co-star in Sharpay's fabulous adventure and real-life friend. He is your 10th cousin once removed. What? (laughs) He's my best, best friend. I'm telling you, when we first met, I was like, oh my God, we were like brother and sister from the minute we met. Let's celebrate (laughs) this family story with the Golden Leaf Trophy for our winner. And surprise, it's Bejeweled. Oh my God, stop it. Ashley, congratulations. Thank you, Tree. You've also won an ancestry gift for the relative of your choice and bragging rights at every Thanksgiving dinner from now on. Thanks for watching Two Lies and a Leaf. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> I love you. Let your loved ones open a world of discoveries this holiday with the gift of ancestry. Shop the link below. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next Two Lies and a Leaf. Thanks Thanks for for watching. I texted him. He's on set, so I texted him, and then I'll probably call him tonight. Oh, wait, he just texted me. He goes, no way.